Now we'll talk about rules for division and specifically the rules for dividing positive and negative numbers. And these are very similar to the rules for dividing, uh, for, for multiplying positive and negative numbers. If two numbers have the same sign, then their quotient is positive. If two numbers have the same sign, then their quotient is positive. In other words, if you divide a positive number by a positive number, the result is positive. And if you divide a negative number by a negative number, again, the result is positive. And if two numbers have the opposite sign, then their quotient is negative. If two numbers have the opposite sign, their quotient is negative. So if you divide a positive number by a negative, or a negative number by a positive, then the result is negative. So here are some examples. 9 divided by 3. Okay, obviously we know that 9 divided by 3 is 3. Well, negative 9 divided by negative 3 is also 3. Again, I take note that both of these numbers are negative. They both have the same sign, so the result ends up being a positive 3. And negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3, and the same as 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. If one of the numbers is negative, then we end up with a negative sign on our answer. You can think of this as a negative sign in the numerator and denominator canceling each other out. So this negative sign here and that negative sign there cancel each other out. And it's the same as just a positive 9 divided by a positive 3. And this concept applies to variables as well as to numbers. Look at this. Negative 8a over negative 2b. I have a negative thing divided by a negative thing. The result there will be positive. Or I, I don't really know if it's positive or not because I don't have values for those variables a and b. But I can think of this negative sign and that negative sign is canceling each other out. And one way to cancel them out is to just change them into plus signs by putting a little mark there. And then I just end up with 8a over 2b. And I can reduce this 8 and the 2 to a 4 over 1. And so I'm just left with 4a over b for my answer with no negative signs because those negative signs is, have canceled out. Over here, there's a single negative sign, and it doesn't matter if it's in the denominator or the numerator. Uh, in either case, I have a single negative sign, so it doesn't cancel out. I can still reduce the 8 and the 2 to a 4 and a 1, but the negative sign right there is still there. So I end up with 4a over negative b, and again, it's not common to leave the negative sign like that in the numerator. I'm going to rewrite this as negative 4a over b, although you could also write it as negative 4a over b. But one important thing to take note of here, don't make the mistake of thinking that any negative sign on the top and the bottom will cancel out. If I have this 3 minus x over negative 6, these two negative signs do not cancel out. This expression, as it's written, can't be simplified any further. We can't reduce this 3 and this 6 either. Don't, uh, don't go doing something like this. That's wrong. The rule to remember here is that only things that are multiplied can cancel out from the top and the bottom. And this is not multiplication there. That's a subtraction, 3 minus x. Or you could think of it as addition, 3 plus negative x. But it's not multiplication. Only factors can cancel. In, in the case that we were uh, thinking about earlier, negative 8a over negative 2b. Everything in the numerator there and everything in the denominator are multiplied. We can think of this as negative 1 times 8 times a over negative 1 times 2 times b. And the negative 1 on the top and the bottom can cancel out. Note that negative 1 is a factor of our numerator and a factor of our denominator. So th those can cancel out. And that's the same as canceling out those negative signs. That doesn't work over here. This n is not a factor. That's an operator. That's 3 minus x. So there's no factor of negative 1 in the numerator to cancel. And the same thing here. I can't uh, reduce the 3 and the 6 because the 3 is not a factor. 
you can only cancel the factors.